Hi everyone! Some people believe that having a car fast enough to bend light is unnecessary, but some of us are yearning for a pace supercar that can help scratch the urge and fully feel alive. So that's why today we are discussing the fastest supercars in the world with lightning fast top speeds. Now, for individuals with a demand for speed that's at a stratospheric level, it might be a good idea to take a look at these supercars. These cars are the mightiest and fastest with a performance so extraordinary and shocking that the typical brain can practically not understand what they're capable of. Here are the amazing top 10 fastest supercars. Number one and two are so mind blowing, so kindly stay tuned until the end of this video. Make sure to comment your favorite because we will be pinning the first 10 comments. Thanks. Number 10, Lamborghini Cyan, 220 miles per hour or 350 kilometers per hour. The Lamborghini Scion is a breathtaking limited edition hybrid supercar that picks up where the Aventador left off. Only 63 coupes and 19 roadsters were produced, making the Scion one of the rarest vehicles to bear the Raging Bull brand emblem. This supercar is neither inexpensive nor moderate, especially considering it has a massive V12 engine and a super capacitor. It was the most powerful Lamborghini ever built at the time, and the price tag reflected it, with a price tag of $4 million and a top speed of around 217 miles per hour. This is hardly the type of vehicle that we expect to see on the road. Number 9. Bagani Huayra BC Roadster 236 miles per hour or 380 kilometers per hour. The Bagani Huayra was lightning fast and the Bagani Huayra BC Roadster is a variation with even more power and delectable tweaks. It is lighter than the standard Huayra and has a detachable top. The Roadster BC, like all Huayras, is powered by a 6.0 liter twin turbo AMG sourced V12 engine. The engine, however, has been modified specifically for the Roadster BC, producing 791 horsepower and 774 pounds per foot of torque, all of which are sent only to the rear wheels via a 7-speed sequential manual transmission. Number 8, McLaren Speedtail, 250 miles per hour or 402 kilometers per hour. The McLaren Speedtail is designed to transport up to three passengers from point A to point B, faster than anything else aside from a private plane. This hypercar boasts over a thousand horsepower and a top speed of 250 miles per hour. The McLaren Speedtail is powered by a 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine and a parallel hybrid system. The gasoline engine generates 1,035 horsepower and the electric motor generates an additional 310 horsepower for a total of 1,345 five wild horses. With all of this power, it can go from 0 to 186 miles per hour in 12.8 seconds, which is faster than the average supermarket shopper can reach with 60 miles per hour. This is a very limited production car with only 106 examples ever made. Number 7, Hennessy Venom GT, 270 miles per hour or 434 kilometers per hour. On Valentine's Day 2014, John Hennessy of Hennessy Performance declared the end of his feud with Bugatti, for the time being at least. It took two years to develop an engineer. Only 29 were made, and the manufacturer is only selling them for about 1.2 million each. The supercar is stunning with sinuous curves and a sleek body. With its ultra-light carbon fiber chassis, the Venom GT almost appears feline, as if it were a Black Panther ready to leap at any moment. The Venom GT reached a top speed of 270.49 miles per hour as measured by our V-Box 3i GPS device. Vice, race logic engineer Joe Lachowski disclosed. According to the V-Box GPS data, the Venom GT was still accelerating at an average rate of one mile per second, taking only 10.1 seconds to reach from 260 to 270 miles per hour. The record run was set over a distance of 2.4 miles, giving the Venom just eight tenths of a mile to come to a halt. Thankfully, the car's Brembo carbon ceramic brakes were able to bring it down from 270 miles per hour well before it hit the 1,000 foot threshold. I knew the car had it in it, 
but it's a pleasure to formally confirm the Venom GT's 270 mile per hour speed, stated Don Goldman, the CEO of Hennessy. Venturing anywhere above 200 miles per hour, much alone 270, is not for the faint of heart, and we're happy to have accomplished our aim. Number 6. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 plus 304 miles per hour or 483 kilometers per hour. Bugatti has been a storied name in luxury hypercars for years, naturally. The intensely upgraded quad-turbocharged W16 that powers the Chiron upgraded the speed of this iconic car and added some brawn to the beauty with the result that now Bugatti has not one, but two places on our ranking of the fastest cars of 2021. While it may no longer be the fastest car out there, we'll get to that envy title in a minute, Bugatti's Chiron Supersport Plus has the claim to fame that will be chronicled in history books and odd in conversation for years to come. It was the very first car to cross the then unheard of speed barrier of 300 miles per hour or 483 kilometers per hour. It still represents a flawless balance between form and function, aerodynamics and aesthetics. With an acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds, this Bugatti certainly has speed and style all at the same time. Number 5. Hennessy Venom F5 310 miles per hour or 484 kilometers per hour. Hennessy Performance Engineering is probably best known for transforming ordinary muscle cars and pickup trucks into supercar slaying beasts. However, the Hennessy Venom F5 is not the famed Texas-based vehicle tuning outfit's first supercar. Before, they produced the Hennessy Venom GT, which provided to be faster than the Bugatti Veyron. They've now created the Venom F5 from the ground up to be one of the fastest, if not the fastest, automobiles ever. The Venom F5 is as light as air with a 6.6 liter twin turbocharged V8 that produces a whopping 1,817 horsepower when needed. Even the most seasoned auto enthusiasts should be able to handle that punch. Only 24 pieces of this monster are expected to be built and each one has a top speed of 300 miles per hour. Number 4. Bugatti Belide 310 plus miles per hour or 484 plus kilometers per hour. Bugatti went back to the drawing board after the triumph of the Chiron Supersport. The imaginative historic vehicle company tried to outdo itself, but how could it do so when the Supersport 300 plus was perfection on wheels? What is the solution? Simple. Enter the 8.0 liter W16 engine. It has 1,825 horsepower and a mind-boggling 1,364 pounds per foot of torque. This vehicle is on the rise. Bugatti's Belide is a lightweight hypercar that exemplifies Bugatti's whole range of beauty, power, and invention. The Belide will fully show the world what the W16 motor is capable of, employing the same unique engine as the iconic Chiron series, but with extra turbos to amplify the effect. It's also light, futuristic, powdered blue paint is sparsely applied to its exposed carbon construction, and small. The Belide stands 39.2 inches tall. It has a claimed top speed of 310 miles per hour or 498 kilometers per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.17 seconds. Number 3. Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute 330 miles per hour or 531 kilometers per hour. Few vehicles can compete with the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute in terms of performance. This is a track-focused beast that promises outstanding performance. In fact, we're pretty sure it's capable of blurring time and space. The Absolute is powered by 5.0 liter engine that produces 1,603 horsepower. It has a rear mid-engine design and a rear wheel drive, as do all of the best supercars. The Jesko Absolute, according to Koenigsegg, has a top speed of 330 miles per hour, and we chose to trust them. Number 2. SSC Tuatara 331 miles per hour or 533 kilometers per hour. 
From 2004 through 2013, SSC North America produced the SSC Aero, a car that outperformed the normal Bugatti Veyron, becoming the world's fastest production vehicle with a two-way top speed of 257.41 miles per hour. The SSC Tuatara has some big shoes to fill, but with a top speed of more than 300 miles per hour, we are confident it'll live up to them. The Tuatara, like any self-respecting hypercar, has a monster of an engine to achieve such insane speeds. Depending on the fuel used, this one can create up to 1,750 horsepower. This car is a fantastic fantasy with wicked lines and a strong personality. We've arrived at the boss. Before we jump into number one, be sure to smash that subscribe button for your chance to win our monthly shout out giveaway. Just comment down below, I subbed and you will be entered in our giveaway. Number one, Devil 16, 347 miles per hour, or 550 kilometers per hour. The fastest car of 2021, a car with virtually unheard of power and speed from the Devil 16, a car that aims to shatter all current records it encounters. The Devil 16 challenges the next speed standard, 350 miles per hour, with a reported top speed of 347 miles per hour or 550 plus kilometers per hour. The Devil 16, first given years ago, declare realities that have left vehicle manufacturers perplexed as we wait for production. It has an astonishing 5,007 horsepower, an 81 millimeter quad turbo 12.3 liter V16 engine, and a general inquire for pricing, the captivating atmosphere that surrounds it at all time. This vehicle is undoubtedly one to keep an eye out on in 2021, as what we do know about it suggests that if the stats are accurate, it will be the car to beat. Thank you so much for watching, stay tuned for more of our videos, and don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to the channel.